Hey guys, welcome to day two of my Hokkaido vlog. We started this morning off with a nice Japanese style hotel breakfast, which was prepared for us before checkout. It was pretty fancy and pretty good also. Uh, but for day two, we actually didn't have too much planned because we checked out all the, the snow festival and the ice sculptures the day before. So our only real plan for day two was to go to the Sapporo Beer Museum, which we took a bus from Sapporo Station. It was a pretty short ride from the station, so anyone visiting Sapporo, I highly recommend going to the beer museum. Today we're here to check out the Sapporo Garden Park. entrance to the Sapporo Beer Museum. We're a little bit early, but we're gonna wait in line to get in. So entry into the museum was actually free, which was awesome. Uh, but the thing was, most of the museum or exhibit was uh, photos, okay, no videos, so I had to cut most of that off. But I was able to take video of the tasting area on the bottom floor. The beer menu. Tasting set oh, is a yeah. Kaitakushi beer. The rich has a rich and mild taste. That's well, good. It does have a rich and mild. It, it's actually pretty smooth. Yeah, rich but light beer. Classic next. It's 100% malt. Yeah, that's super smooth. Original beer taste. Enjoy the smooth drinkability. And lastly, we have Black Label Sapporo Namak Beer Kuro Labelu. The best selling product since 1977. Yeah, this has more oomph than the other two. Perfect balance of barley and crisp af aftertaste. Yeah, I think this is what people think of when they think of what a beer. It always tastes better as well.
look at all this snow so much snow so much snow I can't throw a snowball while vlogging. <laughs> I got your pocket. So after we were done checking out the Sapporo Beer Museum, uh, the only place that I really wanted to check out or eat at was the sushi place that I wasn't able to eat on day one. So we went. Turns out it was a four-hour wait. So we got our we got a ticket. We went back to Sapporo, killed some time, and went back. And finally, we were able to get in line and actually eat at the sushi place. This place is called Toritong, very famous place in Hokkaido, I guess. The sushi was amazing. They had just the freshest tuna, toros, uh, fatty tuna, uh, salmon. But I think the main sushi that I wanted to eat, uh, here's some uh, rolls and stuff. But the, but the really good stuff was the uni or sea urchin. Uh, just tastes different because here it is the uni it's 100% fresh uh, the uni that you normally eat has preservatives in it so it actually kind of tastes bitter but man the stuff here just didn't have that bitterness so it was all amazing I definitely recommend even if the wait is like crazy long So after we were done eating, uh, the last thing was just to head back to the airport. And unsurprisingly, our flight was delayed just by a little bit, uh, 15 to 20 minutes. But uh, yeah, that was our trip to Hokkaido. We were able to board our plane safely, head back to Tokyo, and uh, here I am in the safety of my house, uh, editing this video away. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely experience for us. Definitely want to go back again sometime and uh, be able to check out more of Hokkaido and not visit for just one short weekend. But hopefully that happens sometime in the future. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the videos I was able to take at Hokkaido this time. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!